carbon neutral. That's how Danish container shipping giant AP Moller Maersk is describing eight large container ships that will run on methanol. But building these $2.8 billion vessels to run on an alternative fuel is not enough to decarbonize them. After all, methanol has a carbon atom. Maersk is on the hunt for supplies of green methanol to fuel the ships in a way that allows it to make the carbon neutral claim. There's two forms of green methanol that Maersk is looking for. First is biomethanol. It's made from biomass or biogas, which in the right circumstances can equate to negative emissions in the calculations of the fuel's carbon impact. There's e-methanol, which is produced from green hydrogen through electrolysis of water using renewable power, plus the addition of CO2. And that CO2 can either come from biogenic sources, direct air capture, a direct air capture or industrial flue gases. Um, and you know, within that sector, we're seeing a, a lot of interest now in methanol. I, I think you know, just based on some of the announced projects that, that we've seen in the press and the companies that we're talking with, you know, we, we expect somewhere around a million tons of biomethanol and e-methanol to be available by 2025, and maybe it's 2 million tons by 2030. For methanol to be carbon neutral involves a calculation that looks at the full life cycle of the fuel, from the ingredients it's made of to the fumes that the ships eventually spit into the atmosphere. You have to look at the well to wake emissions, as we call it in the marine sector, look not just at carbon dioxide emissions, but other climate pollutants, especially methane. Uh, most methanol today is made by natural gas, so we need a different way of making methanol. Uh, nitrous oxide and um, looking at all of these on a carbon dioxide equivalent basis and then comparing the fuels. And not all sources of green methanol are going to give you the same result as far as how much their total life cycle uh, carbon dioxide equivalent emissions come out to.